हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एसक्यूएल प्रॉब्लम सो दिस क्वेश्चन वाज आज इन अ पीडब्ल्यूसी इंटरव्यू एंड वन ऑफ माय लिंक्डइन फॉलोअर सेंट मी दिस प्रॉब्लम सो इज द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन विद टू मेथड्स एज एज यूजुअल वन विद नॉर्मल लाइफ एंड वन इज मेंटोस लाइफ व्हिच इज अ कूल सॉल्यूशन सो वी विल डू अ नॉर्मल सॉल्यूशन फर्स्ट एंड देन द मेंटोस सॉल्यूशन so let's understand the problem statement and then i will jump to the sql server to solve this problem so is the problem find the company only whose revenue is increasing every year okay so suppose a company revenue is increasing for 3 years and a very next year the revenue is dipped in that case it should not be in the output right so they have given a example i'll just show you so in that only abc1 should be the output so the companies whose revenue is increasing every year right those companies should be in the output so this is my company year and revenue so if you look at the abc1 in 2000 revenue is 100 in 2001 it is 110 and 2002 it is 120 so if you see every year it is increasing right now lo look at abc2 right here in 2000 it is 100 then it is decreased then again increased so it has decreased at least one time right so ABC two will not be in the output, right? ABC three again. If you see five hundred, four hundred, and again increase. So again it has decreased here. So ABC two and ABC three will not come. ABC one will come, right? Because it is increasing every year. Also in this question for all three companies there are only three years. What I have done, I have added one more year for ABC three so that our solution is generic. It should not be like that. Our solution will work on the Three years only, right? Our solution should be generic, even if there are four years or five years, it should work, right? So let me jump onto the SQL Server and show you. So this is my company revenue table, right? So if you see for ABC one, one we have three years for ABC two, we have three years, but for ABC three, we have four years. I have added one more year there, right? Two thousand three, but the question is same. that every year whatever year is given data is given for a particular company every year the revenue should increase only that company should come in the output okay i will put the create table and insert table statements as well so that you can try it yourself okay so let's try with the first solution i hope the question is clear first solution normal life okay okay so what i need i need to compare year on year revenues right so when i am checking 2001 revenue i need to compare it with 2000 that it is increasing or not right for a particular company again for 2002 i need to compare it with 2001 right this is how i have to see and then see every year it is increasing right we will see how we will identify that every year it is increasing but first let's find the difference between the current year revenue and previous year revenue for each year for different companies right okay so i think what we can do we can make use of lag function here because lag function will give you the previous rows output right it will give you previous value from the previous row so what i will do i will say lag right i need the revenue right lag by 1 because i need just previous year the revenue so i will say lag 1 over now i need this separate for each company right so i will say partition by company okay and then order by year and by default it is ascending as previous revenue i can say previous year revenue right let me run this and show you how it looks like so if you see the previous year revenue is coming as null for 2000 year because there is no revenue there is no previous row so it is coming as null for 2001 for this company we are getting 100 because in 2000 the revenue was 100 so that's how lag function is working right again for 2002 if you see it is 120 right but for previous year it is 110 because i have said lag 1 so it is just giving me the previous value now again for abc2 if you see it is null why because i have done partition by company if i remove this partition by company okay then it will just check for all the rows right not just company wise which will be wrong i want to see company wise only so if you see for company abc uh, let me order by company 
order by company and year right okay. so if you see it is null for the first row but here it is saying the previous year value is 100 right it is saying 100 which is wrong right i have done order by year and that is the problem okay so the thing is i, I have to put partition by right otherwise it will be wrong right so let me put it back and now it looks good right now it looks good that for the new company again it is giving me null that there is no previous revenue so this way it is correct okay so we have to use partition by to that get the right output now the calculations with null will be sometimes tricky because we have to do null handling and all so what we can do i can assume that previous year for the previous year for the first row the previous year sales is zero so the third argument i can pass as zero so whenever there is no row or the value is null the previous one we can pass third argument which is default argument and will give you zero right so now previous year the value is coming as zero right and everything else is fine okay now what i have to do i have to compare this revenue with previous year revenue so i will create a new column right and i will say revenue minus this previous revenue right whatever we have calculated same calculation i have put as 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 sales diff right revenue diff anything revenue diff right year on year, year revenue diff and if i run this it is giving me the revenue difference is 100 here it is 10 because this year it is 110 previous year was 100 so it is 10 again here 10 right now here if you see it is 100 for first one it is 100 because we have taken as zero by default now here if you see it is negative it means it is revenue is decreasing right here again if you see 400 to 500 it is decreasing right so wherever it is negative it means revenue is increasing and wherever it is increasing it is positive it means the revenue is increasing right now what i have to do i have to see that every year right whatever year of data it is always increasing okay so what we are going to do the first solution that we will see how many years of data we have and for how many years revenue is increasing if that is equal right if that is equal so i'm saying how many years of data for each company right and i will see how many years it is increasing right if these two things are equal then i will say that company i want in output right so for example for abc1 three years of data is there and all three years revenue is increasing so abc1 will come for abc2 there are three years of data but only two years it is increasing so this will not come again for abc3 we have four years of data but only three years it is increasing right so this will also not come in the output so this i have information for how many years it is increasing right if i do greater than zero i will get it right now what i am going to do i will also say i will also say i won't count how many years of data is there so i will say count one right over partition by company right so this will give me this will give me total count for each company how many years of data we have right this is not required so if i run this now i'm getting one more column right as cnt let's say so i'm getting that there is three three years of data for abc1 right because i am doing count partition by company so for each company whatever is the number of records i am getting 333 three, three, right for abc2 also i am getting 333 three, three. for abc3 three, i am getting four because there are total four records right so this is how i am making use of this window functions to get the count right now next what i have to do i have to count where the revenue difference is also the venue difference is the venue difference is greater than zero right so if the revenue difference is greater than zero and the count is matching with this count then we are good okay 
so what i will do let me create this as a city with cts right with cts and i will say this right i'll just select from ct where where the revenue difference is greater than 0 i am getting only those records where the revenue difference is greater than 0 right let me let me run this so if you see i am getting how many records for abc1 three records for abc2 there are only two records right and for abc3 there are three records now what i will say group by company i am doing a group by company okay and here also i am taking company and take the count count 1 as as what let me put it company as uh increase years i mean the years where the sales has increased always right sales increase years so if i run this sorry i have to run full okay so i am getting 3 2 3 right but i need this column also the count this count is total so i'll just add this in the group by as well because this value is repeating so i can just add in the group by right so if i run this okay so if you see i am getting this 3 3 4 right and this is 3 2 2 So if you say total say total number of years is three and sales increase years is three, so this will qualify, right? This will not qualify. This will not qualify, right? So how I can put this condition? I can either create one more city or I can put in the having condition. I can say having C N T, right? Having C N T equal to right count of one. right i can do that so if i run this again i am getting abc1 right so i am getting abc1 if i don't need these two columns i can just comment and this is my output that number of years of data is equal to number of years when it is when you is increasing right so this is my first solution which is my normal life let's do mentos life right this will be a smarter solution so let me copy paste it and show you what i am going to do so this is my this is my query okay let me run this inner query again the ct1 and i will show you what i am going to do so if you look at this data right if you check for the company to qualify there shouldn't be any negative record right for the company to qualify there shouldn't be any negative record where the revenue difference is negative right if all the records are positive then we are good but even if one record is negative right even for one year the revenue difference is negative we don't want that company so what we can do instead of this instead of this i will say where one second yeah i'll say where company not in right select company from ct where revenue difference is less than 0 right if i run this i will get abc2 i will get abc3 so i don't want these companies apart from these give me all the companies so what i am doing essentially i am identifying all those companies where at least one year there is a decrease in the sales and those companies i am saying give don't give me those companies from ct so select i can do just star for the for the for that matter select star from ct where company not in this also if you see i don't need this call this column now right so i can skip this column i need previous revenue right and i need the revenue difference i don't even need this right i just in the previous solution as well i don't need this i just need the revenue difference right so if i run this now So you see, ABC one is coming because there are three rows. Three rows are coming. 
but if i just want company name i can just put company and i can either do group by or distinct right so if i just run this now this is it we are getting abc1 okay i hope to, you enjoy the video uh, do let me know if you have any smarter or better solution or shorter solution i would love to see it thanks for watching the video please do hit the like button and and share share uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not thank you have a good day